Do you watch the little movie or do you watch the front? Sorry, viewers. I'd love to watch uh -oh. the movie, but she doesn't. Okay, well, she changed it around. There she did. She did it? I didn't change it. All right, Tori. Okay, number one is a P series that diverges because the P is one half, which is less than one. Any questions? Great. Number two, Lauren? Number two, um, I did the geometric technique. And I first divided up the inside function to be 8 times 1 over 4 to the n plus 1. And 1 over 4 to the n plus 1 is the same as 1 over 4 parentheses to the n plus 1, because 1 raised to any power is 1. And then um, I know that 1 fourth is less than 1, so it's going to be convergent. So I found the first term. Uh, so when you put in 1, the first term is 1, and then 1 over 1 minus 1 fourth is 1 over 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds. What? <laughs> you accidentally made 1 squared 2. Hmm? What did you say? You accidentally made 1 squared 2. What did you say? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> like you said, you said um, 1 to the... because n is 1, so it's 1 plus 1, and so it's 1... One one word. Word. Can you show her? Why don't you show her? Because I think she's not seeing. Oh, wait, what do you say? Like, you square like, like, one for your first turn. Two over sixteen instead of one. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. So, um, so it's just one over two, and not one. Yeah. Really, is that what you said? One half. Yeah, my my fault, my fault. Okay. <laughs> so, one half times four thirds. So two over three? Yep. Okay. There you go. Miss Potter, why didn't you tell me that? Ooh. <laughs> it's okay to make mistakes. Okay, well thank you, Julia. Really, uh, I thought it said two thirds, not four thirds. So embarrassing. Well, she was right that it converged. <laughs> Alright, number three, Nate. I don't know how right now, Miss Potter. Yeah, I had so much confidence going into that. Shut down. I really hope that that is not the one thing in your life that's bringing you down. Oh, Nate! Oh, <laughs> Come on, Nate. Okay, number three. Um, let's see. Number three. 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 One over n, which is n, and that's just increasing. Leave your paper up there. Why can't the series start at one? So the natural log of n is zero. Right, and then I can't divide by zero. Okay. It's not just like I picked any number there. There was a particular reason why we had to start at two for this particular series. Thank you. Jill. I didn't check the correctness of the value of congruence. I'm so upset about this. Oh, stop it. You guys are like making a mountain out of a molehill right now. What? I'm going to be that like this. Okay. Um, so, wait, did you turn the card around? Did you do number four? Because if so, you need to put it in the middle. <laughs> so I so there was a geometric series and you can have it's one over the natural log of three to the n, but it's the same as one over the natural log of three. Same thing. And um, so said it converged because the um, one over the natural log of three is less than one. Is that right? Yeah. Wait. What? I thought the natural log of three was one point. Oh yeah, god. So one, yeah. Is this wrong? No, this is right. One oh, it's greater. Does that be greater than one? No, it's less than one. No, it. It's one in seventy-nine thousand. That's the one. Three is greater than one. No, I don't. Don't think about it. What is the one? But one divided by the twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. Less than one. Why is the natural log? I mean, I think I got. I think I did it right. No, you're right. You're right. Am I good? Yeah. Can we can we stop and clarify the issue? We need to decide what thing we're looking at. Are we looking at the natural log of 3, or are we looking at 1 divided by the natural one log of 3? Divided by, yeah. 1 divided by the natural log of 3. And we're trying to determine whether that is greater that than is, or less than that 1. That is less than 1. Thank you for checking this. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Um, so that's less than one, which means that it converges. And then to find the sum, I did the first term, which was the nap. Wait, no. I did. I made because the first term was one over one minus the natural log of three, and then one is the same as the natural log of three over the natural log of three. So then subtracted those, got the natural log of three minus one over the natural log of three, and flipped it because I was dividing by. Okay. Does that make sense? We forgot how you did the we did the first term with zero instead of one. Yeah. Oh. So really, what is the first term here? One divided by the natural log. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If, if the index had been zero, would Joel's answer be correct? <laughs> if the index was zero, would her answer be correct? Yes. Yes, because the first term would be one. But the first term in this case is not one. It's one divided by the natural log of three. Because the index is one. Can somebody show correct work? Joel has got that. Oh, you do it? You're on it? Yeah. Okay. When we're when we're done, do you want to go ahead? Um, any anyone still need the uh, advanced placement information for ordering a test? Raise your hand if you need it. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Brad, number five. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I so for this one, you use the nth term test. And I'll, since uh, they both have squares in the exponents. Brad. 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 Oh. Brad. What? It's not equal to zero. So it's divergent. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what convert? No, 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 no. Leave it up there. And you need to fix it so we can see the problem. What converges? Oh, uh, I did sequence. The sequence converges to negative 7, 6. But if the sequence converges to negative 7, 6, what does the nth term test tell us? Divergence. Diverge. Did you change your answer? Not yet. Did you change it from what you originally had on your paper? Because I wouldn't have asked you to go up if you had the wrong answer. No, I didn't change it. No, I got that. I had that. <laughs> Spotter, you've been steering everybody wrong because of the people that have gone up. Three of us have had wrong things. Um, okay, but you did, you were correct, converge, converge. That is incorrect. That diverges because Which of the one? nth term test. Mm -hmm. but, but this one? Number five. Uh, number five. The, the sequence to converges to negative yeah. seven six. The ser okay, and that's great. If you wrote that the sequence converges to negative seven six, that's awesome, but that's not what we were trying to find. True, true. Yeah, true. So the answer is because it's not zero. And what test is that? I'm sorry, and I did that on the word. Yeah, now we're not going to do this. Yeah, now we're not going to do this. Pass, so, calculus. Good job. saw that this was a P series by simplifying this into 1 over n to the pi. Since pi is greater than 1, we know that the series converges. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. Are you sure? It's beautiful. Perfect. We don't know. We don't know. P series, we don't know what they Julia, can I see the work for number Oh, yeah. Julia. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, here's the work for number four. Um, you just have to make sure you do your arithmetic right. What is arithmetic? what's arithmetic? No. No. <laughs> I feel like if it was this complicated, this was a pretty complicated. Um, that we could just, can I write something on your paper? Sure. We could probably just, like if you're taking the AP exam and this is a non-calculator for your response, you had better leave it like that. I don't want to see any work that you're going to mess up. Just leave it. It's fine. It's the responsibility of the grader. Any questions? All right, so are we feeling a little bit better about series and determining whether they converge or diverge? Yeah.
Thank you so much. Homework? Nobody wants to do homework. Homework number one. Number two, converge or diverge? Diverge. Uh, diverge. Number four, converge or diverge? Converge. Converge to what number? Eight. Eight. Okay. Number six, converge or diverge? Converge. And we go to number seven. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, A equals to it. Yes, A equals to it. I said 3.75. Ben, people think you're fat? <laughs> yeah, so people think I'm fat. So that would be 1 plus 1. Yeah. 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 Okay, I won't yell anymore because I've never yelled. All right, so um, I look at this series and I can't use geometric tests. I can't use um, P series tests. So I'm going to investigate whether or not I can rewrite this as an alternating series. I need to use partial fraction decomposition and rewrite this as this series right here. So this series and this series are they are equivalent to one another. And after I do my partial fraction decomposition, I start listing some terms to see if in fact this series is going to telescope down to a value. And as I'm doing this, I notice that everything appears to be going away except for the 2 divided by 1 and the 2 divided by 2. I know that this 2 6 is going to go away later down the line. And this 2 sevenths is going to go away later down the line. And if I talk about what the nth term is, the nth term is going to be 2 divided by m minus 2 divided by m plus 2. And the 2 divided by m is going to cancel out. And I'm going to be left, my notation is kind of sloppy, but I'm going to be left with the limit as m goes to infinity of 2 plus 2 over 1 plus 2 over 2 plus negative 2 over m plus 2. And the limit of that is equal to how much? Three. You don't really need to show the, the nitty gritty right here with this limit. If you've canceled some things out and you notice what's happening, you know that that series is going to converge to 3. Okay? Any questions about what I did? Yes? Well, it's just like... I don't know, how do you know when you stop? Because like negative 2, 6 doesn't cross out, neither does negative 2, 7, but you just automatically like, let it go. Because I know if I wrote the next term, uh -huh. it's going to be plus 2, 6 minus 2 eighths, mm -hmm. and then the next term is going to be plus 2, negative 7 cancel. minus 2 ninths. So as I keep going on forever and ever and ever, these terms are going to cancel out. I didn't write it, like I didn't draw the line through them because I didn't have the rest of the terms, but I just kind of knew in my mind, okay, well, it's going to continue going because it's going to infinity. So I know that they're eventually going to cancel out. Okay? All right.